Hello. In this video, I will be showing you how to install and configure the Jaspersoft software on your server. This is for Jaspersoft 6.2 on a Windows platform using Microsoft SQL 2014 database, the Tomcat 8. At this time, CADB 6.2 only supports a silent installation, and that's what I'll be taking you through today. Now, before we get started, we do need to make sure our prereqs are installed and configured. Please make sure you have the supported prereqs for your installation of CABI with the selected OS version you will be using. With that said, these are the prereqs being used with my Windows 2012 server, R2 server with CABI 6.2, also known as Jaspersoft. First, you just need to make sure you have a, a compatible JDK. I am using a JDK 1.8, which I will show you here. And this is the default folder where it lives um, at the time of this video, JDK 1.8.0.111 is what I'm using. And please make sure it's 64-bit. You will have to create a new system variable named Java, Java Home. And I will take you to that here. I have my variables. You can see I created a Java Home pointing to my default JDK. And then to the path environment variable, you just want to append Java Home environment variable forward slash backward slash bin. Okay, once you do that, make sure you install Tomcat 8. which can be found here. I'm using Tomcat 8.5 for this installation. Uh, next is Microsoft SQL 2014. This is my SQL Studio, which you can see here. Now, when you download CAVI, you need to make sure the CAVI install folder is on the C drive because the command line, once you do begin to start the installation, has to be less than 255 characters or it will fail. So as you can see here, my cabby Jasper Report Server 62 Windows folder is on my C drive. The last thing you do need to do is to configure your sample.properties file. And I will walk you through that as well. So as you can see here, uh, the app server type is Tomcat 8. Even though I'm using Tomcat 8.5, the value I have to use here is Tomcat 8. App server directory, as you can see, the double slashes, that is the only way it will read it, so please make sure you use double slashes here. And it points to my Tomcat 8.5 instance. Now, my database type is SQL Server. Database host. Uh, this is the same server, so you just want to put in the host name. Database port or instance 1433. As you can see, SQL Server uses 1433. Uh, the database name where the JasperSoft repository will be created. I'm using the default name of Jasper Server. Uh, the DB username is SA. And even though these are asterisks, um, this password should be clear text. Um, I only have it in asterisks for the sake of this video. Next, your samples. Uh, I am installing the samples um, just because this Jasper server um, that I've cre I am creating here um, won't have any, I, I want to have default data that I can play around with, but um, if you do not want to, you do not have to. Um, this is where you configure an email. If you're going to have an email server to send out emails, I am not, so I'm leaving that uh, blank. Um, I'm not going to encrypt my passwords, so I'm leaving this as no. Uh, please note if you are going to use encryption, this needs to be set as yes by default. Um, there are post-installation steps, but um, 
it does start here with your sample properties file. And my web app name, Jeff Silver Dash Pro, please make sure you remember that um, because you can name it whatever you want, but any instance that's going to connect to your Jasper server, um, it will want to use that web app name. So once you have that configured, Next, you want to open up a command prompt, and you just want to navigate to the directory where your install is. This seems to not like that. And then, as this is Windows, you want to use install bat dot bat. And you want to run that um, the install dot bat that lives inside of this CA install folder. And as you can see here, it's going to also be using my sample dot properties. This is how it's referenced. But you also see how I'm using the double slashes here as well. Now the important part is this dash l install.log. It creates an install log on um, startup. Um, it's optional, but I do recommend using it um, because you will, if your install fails, you'll see exactly why. And it will go and it will uh, write itself into the install log. So I'm not going to hit enter here because I've already installed it. But once you do. You will see a screen similar to this. Still successful so over time. Uh, it doesn't take long. So it can take a little more, a little less. Now, once you see that, you will need to do some uh, post configuration steps uh, for Tomcat. And I'm not going to go through all of them here, but they are listed in our install guide for Cavi 6. And this is just where you write it at, write it to, and you will need to adjust your uh, pool settings and thread stack size as well. So once you do have it successfully installed, uh, you can go ahead and start Tomcat now, and you can also then go and verify your Jasper server installation by opening up your browser. And you may want to wait a little while before um, doing this. My Tomcat was already started, but Tomcat does take a little bit to start up. But once you do, you should be able to just go to localhost 8080 and forward slash Jasper Server Pro. Uh, this is my web app name, so that's why it says Jasper Server Pro. And once you do, you should be able to log in. And the default user ID and password is super user and super user. And once you log in, you should now have a fully working Jasper server. Thank you.